Hello everyone. Welcome back. If you feel like I'm going too fast or doing things that are a bit unclear, please feel free to say so in the comment section. I will show you tips that make my animation process a little bit faster. How to save pose assets. Instead of rigging each pose manually, you can create poses, then save them for later use. So, we begin by going to Edit, then Preferences. Click on File Paths. Then on the Asset Library section, click on the plus icon to create a folder where you will store your assets. Click and drag on the plus icon in the left corner. Then change editor type to Asset Browser. On the drop-down menu, you will see the asset folder that we created. In order to save our pose, press A to select all the bones, then select Create Pose Asset. Set the pose name, then Create. Click on the plus icon to add a catalog. Set the name of the catalog to stay organized. When you save the pose, you will see the name of the catalog. Now the pose is saved on the catalog. Create the other poses, then do the same. Once you have created and saved all the poses, you can click on the pose icons to change the poses. You will have to double click on the Asset Libraries editor in order to change poses. Click and drag on the tab to close. Click on the arrow to open. In order to save grease pencil objects, the process is almost the same. Open the Asset Browser Editor. Right-click on the Grease Pencil object, then select Mark as Asset. For the Grease Pencil objects to appear on the Asset folder, go to Save As, then save the file on the Asset folder that we created. Now it has appeared. Do the same for the other hand.
Now, you can drag and drop the hands on the scene anytime you want. You can create a new catalog for the hands in order to stay organized. Then move them to the catalog. When I dragged this hand to the viewport, it came with the rig from the other file. To solve this, we will have to unparent it. By pressing Ctrl-P, then deleting the armature modifier.